Eob chapter 4. Then answered Eliphaz the Temani and said, If one tried to commune with thee, wilt thou be grieved? But who can withhold himself from speaking? Behold, thou hast instructed many, and thou hast strengthened the weak hands. Thy words have upheld him that was falling, and thou hast made firm the feeble knees. But now it is come to thee, and thou faintest. It toucheth thee, and thou art troubled. Is not thy fear of God thy confidence, and the integrity of thy ways thy hope? Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the upright cut off? According as I have seen, they that plough iniquity, and sow trouble, reap the same. By the breath of God they perish, and by the blast of his anger they are consumed. The roaring of the lion, and the voice of the fierce lion, and the teeth of the young lions are broken. The old lion perisheth for lack of prey, and the whelps of the lioness are scattered abroad. Now a thing was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a whisper thereof, in thoughts from the visions of the night, when deep sleep falleth on men. Fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then the spirit passed before my face, the hair of my flesh stood up, it stood still, but I could not discern the appearance thereof. A form was before my eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his Maker? Behold, he putteth no trust in his servants and his messengers, he chargeth with folly. How much more them that dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed before the moth? Betwixt morning and evening they are destroyed. They perish for ever without any regarding it. Is not their tent cord plucked up within them? They die, and that without wisdom.